but it stopped him from using that approach at all, which slowed him down a lot. Being able to slow him down was key in making that matchup much easier for myself. All right, we got Carmen versus Life. Or no, 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 no. What's going on? I got bodied by sheep. So one wolf sheep. Bean Wolf's thinking about. Bean Wolf is actually thinking about playing wolf. How awesome is that? Hey, his wolf is all right. All right, so we got. Ooh, Harry versus Mav. This should be fun. I wonder. I wonder how much Harry has played against Sheik and Peter. Have they played before? Uh, I imagine they have. I think Harry comes fairly often. Um, though I'm not certain. Oh, much he knows this match. Use an ampersand life. All right, here we go. So, oh, he missed the chain grab right away. He might be able to get it. Not. Nah. Unfortunately, he misses L cancel on that down air, which means not enough time to, to get a grab. And now Mav's working on him. Looking for some tech chases. Uh, jab's, jab's a nice option for Ganondorf to get out of little things because it, it's easily his fastest move and it covers that area right in front of him. Yeah. Like, so they love that. Sends him back up there, man. Yeah, the, the, the hit stun on it and the knockback are great. All right, now it looks like looks like Sheik's a bit lighter than Link, which makes sense. So the the chain grab doesn't seem to last quite as long. No. I watched I watched Renth do some things to Sheik in, in both PM and Melee. Ganon Ganon has tools to deal with this matchup. Not that it's at all an easy matchup, but it, it keeps going. Uh, nice and even, nice and even. Um, so what's Matt looking to do? Uh, there he he tried to use Ganondorf's new neutral beat or neutral special so to uh, to reflect things and he he was having some success with it against me especially with Link's arrows because they're just the right speed that there's plenty of time to react. Ah, uh, can he get the platform? All right, he might be able to convert uh, a little too deep, but Mav didn't sweet spot, which robbed him of any ability to possibly convert that into his edge guard. So. Harry still at the advantage, and he nice managed to, play, he's managed to finish it. It wasn't it wasn't perfect, but rarely is anything. So here we go. He's got he's got, he's got the chain grabs down. See so there, Mav. A classic way to get out of guaranteed chain grabs is to kind of lull your opponent into thinking you're always going to di in the same pattern. So there, he was always diing behind him. So every single grab he did was a Turn around, grab. Turn around, grab. But then he decided to di forward, and Harry still turned around before he grabbed. But Mav was on the wrong side. So that's that's how Mav got out. That's a little magic trick. Now I imagine with with time, Harry will get to the point where he doesn't have to preempt his idea for his chain grab, and he'll be able to purely react to what's going on. Because it looks like there's enough time. Um, I'm not sure if there's enough time on every percentage, but. Definitely seems like there's a Oh, that was a nice needle. Although, Ganon's up, he's not too bad. Oh, still living. Stay away from my ledge. Go home. Make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Ganon's attacks look like jelly. Like the <laughs> yeah, they got, they got the purple stuff. <laughs> um, I think I like to call that darkness. Dark <laughs> Darkness? Yeah. I like to call it darkness, because um, I think I think when uh, in it, it it comes from a scene in Ocarina of Time, um, and Navi calls it you know dark energy or something like that. Anyway, Mav Mav's looking to get a lot of damage. Uh, I know I know his mentality here is going to be I need to get every percentage point I possibly can. So that my punish can finish him off. Oh, he missed that ad tilt. Almost got that down. Oh, oh now he gets and there, there, and Harry didn't oh. float the whole match. He saved it for his last stock. Oh no, no, he missed messed up that edge guard. No, oh. that's not gonna do it. No, oh, but Mav. Oh. Man, just 
a little a little smorgasbord of mistakes, but we're still in it. Now can Harry survive? Oh, uh, here we go. All right, so Ganondorf can now stay under the ledge, so he can avoid those needles much more easily. And I don't think she can get back. Oh no! He just stood up. He just stood up. Oh no! There he goes. Sheik's up here is really strong. It's a great move. Alright, that was close. That was very close. So what's Mav gonna get rid of? Yeah, Yoshi's and he should get rid of Dreamland. Because Ganondorf gets really nice movement on those platforms. Although I don't know if Harry has the movement down. A battlefield wouldn't be a bad pick. Fountain. I don't know. People say Fountain's good for Sheik. But it may be good for Sheik for reasons that no longer apply. Oh, he's going meta. Yeah. Mav, Mav likes to go meta night on Fountain. He's, he's been doing this for a while. But I don't know if Gandorf has gone. Ganon, Ganon's okay with this stage. Uh, he's he's not too happy that the platforms move around because Ganon's can get really nice waveland opportunities on all the platforms. Um, so having consistent platforms is nice so you can train your movement to the stage. You don't have to change, train your movement to every single situation. So when when you're playing Ganon on this stage, your, your wavelands are going to be harder to do. Although it, it seems that Harry's game hasn't incorporated wavelands as much. He... He seems to be more, um, he kind of stays in your face a little bit, rather than moving around a whole lot. Um, looks like things aren't working out too well for him on FOD. Oh man. So there, Ganondorf was out of hit stun before he landed. So he was able to throw out that jab just in case Mav came in to try to re-grab him, which is really nice. But Mav was aware of that, so he didn't get too over-aggressive. Oh no! Uh, he may have meant to turn that up the around. I don't know if that would have worked out. I'm not... I'm not well-versed in my eyes. Okay. Oh, he... Alright, so there, Harry, Harry definitely thought that Meta Knight was at a higher percent. Can he that punish? So there, we we saw an example of the platforms kind of getting in the way. There, he he wanted to down air Meta Knight and probably have killed him off of that, but he didn't see the platform until he'd already started his down air and then it got stopped. Grab. I wonder if that was in there. Maybe, maybe up there. I'm not sure. The get up attack is n is not a move to ignore. Get that? Yeah, you can. So this is still really close. Uh, a big disadvantage for Meta Knight in this situation is is weight. Meta Knight's so light and floaty that Ganondorf's going to be able to kill him pretty early with forward air and back air. Uh, I, I remember I specifically used Ganondorf to fight Mavs Meta Knight a long time ago. I mean, this was several versions ago. But uh, I, I found it a lot easier to fight Meta Knight with a character who has lateral kill moves that are absolutely brutal and big damage as well. Yeah, oh, all right, there's a down smash. Can he convert? No. A little, little too slow on that back air. That makes him pay for it. Alright, so we are... Alright, so right now we're showing 0-0, zero, zero, but Mav is up one game. Oh, oh yeah. Hung on to the every, every last little atom of air staying under those wings. Woo! Can he take him? He followed him pretty nicely off of that platform, but... The drop was a little too high back here. There we go. Now I wonder. I wonder if Harry's going to experiment with floating again to see if he can throw off an absolute neutral game. It worked out really well last game, but at the same time, Matt might be ready for it this time. We also might see a Ganon inside. That would be a thing of beauty. Ah, uh, that's. Oh no! I've got off the ledge. 
You scared him just enough. Oh no! That was that was a little over ambitious. So that's that's the end for Harry. Mav moves on. Let's see who's up next. Oh, well, we we should be pretty close to losers finals. Was that winners finals? No, no, that was not winners finals. Uh, I I just, I recently played winners finals. That was um, me Stro against Life. So I'm waiting in grand finals for whoever wins losers finals, and Life is waiting in losers finals for Mav, who has just arrived. Alrighty. Squirtle!